Cruise with some pants on. <laughs> and he was doing that for us during the commercial. It was great. Yeah, thank Thanks you. so much. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so that is uh, the, your famous scene from Risky Business, and uh, so, and th those were briefs, correct? Those, those were, were not boxers. I just want to make no, sure I understand. Boxers. All right, so um, we have uh, Houston, who is our guy here that was training to be a stuntman. <coughs> He's our PA. We send him out to do different things. We sent him to Pennsylvania, okay. uh, Strasburg, and, uh, and he was left alone in this woman's house. And let's show you a clip of what, what he was doing in the house. Take a look. Moves. That knee kick and everything. Yeah, I had the knee and the jump now, on the couch. And... Now, you are a good dancer, because we've seen you dance in other films, but you're a really good dancer. Now, how, when you were doing that, were you at all self-conscious that you were in your underwear around people and just kind of letting go, or? No. How, how did you feel about that? No, no, no I didn't have Not at all. You didn't think twice about it. No. That's great. No, but there was, the tricky part of it was actually because he wanted me in center frame on that opening shot through that thing, so we, I kept sliding past and then <laughs> falling down and we're trying to figure out I need to stop at this point. So what we did was we, we, I waxed it right to that center point. So if you see where my body kind of goes like that, it's because I had the wax there and then I put another sticky stuff on the other side so I wouldn't slide all the way across. So, you know, little things you think about, you know. Yeah. A little tech there for the next time, the next house you hit. And, you know? and how w would you be able to slide right now if you, you know, took your shoes off and slide? You know what? I was sliding backstage. I think with these, I could probably slide. You kind of slid when with, you were coming on stage yeah, just now. Yeah, I know. I was sliding around a but little bit. But you have shoes but I on. Think I'm going to leave my pants on. Though. Okay. <laughs> this is a PG. It was just PG. Leave your pants PG on. PG show. <laughs> oh, you guys said. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Now, this is unwaxed floor, not right. Yeah, it's not waxed. There's no dirt to stop you. Okay. It's not bad. <laughs> you can just slide over like that. Yeah. I can't do I that. I had to start, say this is the house, and there's the archway. So I yeah. started kind of back here, you know? For one of these. So you would start down. I don't think I have the right socks on. I, I have. Are they a little sticky? Yeah, they're not really soft. <laughs> I think if we start over here, I might. <laughs> That's why, you know, let's talk about the movie, because we have to, before, I, I could just, you know, we could talk about all kinds of things, but um, the movie is, it's so beautiful. It, it's just so, the, I want to live there. I want to live in that little village where it was shot. And, uh, and you had to learn how to do all of that, the sword fighting. I spent a year preparing for the film. Worked on it, it's been over two years now that I first sat down with the director, Ed Zwick, and I spent a year just researching the samurai Bushido. I had to learn about the, you know, just from the, from the perspective of Algren, my character, the Civil War, the American Indian Wars, and study that time period in Japanese history, because I really, you know, I just spent a lot of time working on it. I mean, this, this film for me is, is so personal, because when you talk about honor, you talk about integrity. It's something that, that is, as a man, is a way that, that I want to live my life, and I try to live my life. So I wanted, 
And it's about their culture. So it was, we were, you know, Ed and I, very meticulous and very respectful of that culture and, and representing the things that we, we love about it, you know, the Japanese and their heritage. So we spent a year. And physically training, you know, you look at those scenes, uh, if I pull a muscle or blow a knee out, that's it. I, you know, you, you have to shut down for a couple of months. So I had to train quite rigorously. Uh, and also in, in, the, the, in training for the film, it also helped in the development of the character. Uh, so it was, it, but it was challenging, it was great fun. And, well, I, I, we have to take a break. I wanna hear more about that. We're gonna show a clip from it. We'll be okay. right back, right after this. Um, <laughs> Cruise, and you were talking about the movie and the experience. Um, and how long did it take you to uh, shoot this film? We started in uh, Japan, uh, I guess in October, and we finished in April, May. May. Mm -hmm. Finished shooting in May. And you shot uh, three different locations, right? And we shot in uh, Tokyo, Los Angeles. We shot uh, the Tokyo. Uh, no, we didn't shoot in Tokyo. We shot in Japan. We shot in Hameji and uh, Kyoto. And then we shot in uh, Los Angeles. We built Edo, uh, Tokyo there. And then we shot in New Zealand, which is very beautiful, New Zealand. It was, it was it, beautiful to, yeah, really, you just kind of, I, I want to live in that village. I wanted to go back yeah. with you and, and live there. It's one, of the, it's one of those times when I sat down with Ed Zwick, uh, you know, he, he's an extraordinary filmmaker, and you, you talk about a vision of the film and what you always hope. You know, you're always, you, when you start a picture, you, you say, okay, what is the ideal scene? Where do we, what do we hope to achieve? And, and you really do everything to try to achieve that vision of the picture. And uh, I just remember back to the first time that I met him and everything that he wanted as an artist, uh, as a filmmaker from, from the experience and, and the final you know, finished film, he accomplished it. When I saw it, it's one of those moments you go, you know what, you did it. You really did it. And uh, I'm very happy for everyone involved because it takes, you know, there's a lot involved in producing a film, directing, writing. There's a lot of different elements that and these, everyone came and really did great work. Well, shooting, I mean, those, the, the war scenes were, I don't know how you even start to shoot something like that. That was so many people and so many. Yeah, it's one of those things where we didn't know if we could do it. it mm -hmm. you, you look at it and, and you, you know, you look at the people's faces as you're going, how are we going to do this? And everyone, we just said, okay, you know, I like to surround myself with people who say, let's get it done. And, and it was that kind of effort and uh, attention to detail that, that really, you know, made it happen. When you, when you look at sequences, three different countries, uh, that huge sequence at the end of the film, and it, it's one of those movies that when it rained, we needed the rain for that scene. Uh, it's never happened in my career where you need the rain and it rained for that, the scene with Ujio in the rain. We had rain that day throughout the entire uh, battle sequence at the end where it was supposed to be raining in New Zealand, the, the sun came out for us. And mm -hmm. uh, it was just, we just looked at each other and went, well, you know, yeah. don't complain. Well, keep yeah, keep it, moving, don't think about it, keep going. It all fell together. Yeah, in the, it was now, which clip did you bring? Do you know which, which one the it is? The village. Okay. The village, when I'm in uh, at the samurai village <laughs> after my capture. Okay, let's take me a look. Me and Silent Bob. And, and like me, you do your own stunts, so you were... Um, <laughs> You, were talking you did about your own swimming in it? In, in Finding Nemo? Yeah, yes, yeah, I, yeah. I did a lot of the swimming. Um, <laughs> speaking of that, I, I have uh, toys for your kids. Oh, I, I got you the whole little thing of uh, the plush toys for your kids Thank because you. uh, and, and some more DVDs. So that'll save you some Thank money you for Christmas much. shopping. Thank you. And, um, I'm done. Yeah. And uh, so, um, really, is that it? No, there can't be. There's no more time? That can't be right. All right, you know what we're going to do then? Because we're not done with you. Um, I, I was going to go into the audience and play the most difficult game on, but you're coming with me. We're going to play the okay. most difficult game Great. on daytime television.